Hi everyone, it's Hany from Hanielas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you really fun dessert, PlayStation controller buttons, padded force. For this dessert you're gonna need few recipes. I posted all of the recipes and all the links for the tools that I used in this video down below in the description area. First thing I would recommend that you make the filling. I'm using German buttercream. You can find a link down below. And I also made very basic sponge cake. I baked it in a large jelly roll pan. And it's still a little warm, so I'm just gonna invert it on a wax paper sprayed with some nonstick spray. And you can just let it be and let it cool. Then once the sponge cake has cooled, you can flip it over and just peel off the wax paper and you can just throw it out. And using a small round cutter, I'm using a 2 inch cutter, just cut out as many rounds as you can. And then uh, you can uh, fit your piping bag with a star tip or a round tip, it doesn't really matter. And then fill the bag with uh, German chocolate buttercream. And now we're going to fill these cakes with buttercream. Once you fill all of these little cakes, you're going to have to put it in a fridge until the buttercream hardens. So while that's happening, we can prepare the fondant decorations. Using the same cutter that I used for, to cut out little cakes, cut out the rounds and then roll out a piece of fondant a little thicker than larger rounds and cut out these tiny little circles. I used, this is an accent cutter. You can find a link to where to get these um, down below in our description area. Alright, so once you have them all cut out, you just want to take a small brush and just moisten it very, very lightly and just run it along the edges. You don't want to saturate the brush with water because then the water is going to start dissolving the fondant. You just want a little moisture so these small rounds are going to stick there. If needed, you can trim off any kind of um, fondant that has stretched. And now that the cakes are chilled and uh, we have the fondant decorations ready, we can prepare the ganache. So I'm going to heat up some heavy cream until you see there are little bubbles so it's ready. And just pour it over the chocolate. What I like to do, I like to put a piece of paper towel on top and then uh, let it sit. And then using a whisk, you can just whisk this until you have a nice shiny ganache. So now uh, you can either pour the ganache over the cakes or what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna dip it, dip each cake in a ganache. I'm not really worried too much about the look of the top of the cakes because we'll be putting the decorations on top. But um, you can definitely pour this on if you'd like to. And now while the ganache is still wet, we can just take the decoration and put it on top. And then you just want to wait until ganache sets. You can also put this in the fridge and wait until the ganache sets. And then we can finish this off. I'm going to be using royal icing for, um, for the buttons. So I colored it with some pink, blue, red and also some green. So we're going to do triangle, circle, X and uh, square. And as I mentioned before, you can make these ahead of time. I've made them, I think it was three days before uh, we had them. So, and I just had them in a fridge and they were absolutely excellent. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to give it thumbs up subscribe and you'll get all the video updates delivered to you via email. Thanks for watching.